What's going on everybody? This is Corey with Corey's Computer Repair. I thought I'd make a little video about this all-in-one I have today because I could not find anything on the internet that told me exactly how to dismantle this all-in-one desktop. Not my first rodeo with all-in-ones, but the screws were not obvious on this one, so I thought I would help anyone else out out there that might have this specific model. This is a HP 24-G 122 all-in-one desktop computer so some things you're gonna need here you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver I have two different ones just because there's two big screws one two and you're gonna see I'm gonna show you there's a small screw behind this as well as a good spudger pry tool whatever you have all right this one was kind of awkward from how I've seen others that's why I think this video is gonna help other people so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out both these screws. We're gonna remove the stand. All right, one thing to note about this is you're gonna feel it like right now it's loose, right? You're like, huh, it doesn't come out. Pull on it. You gotta pull on it, kind of tightens up again. And then there's like a second threading on the inside you have to get past before it'll come out. There's one. See if I just keep turning, it's not going to come out. I have to kind of pull on it. You'll see the threads start coming out if you got it right. There's two. Okay, so now we got the main two screws out. Now I'm going to lift up. There it is. Took off the actual stand. Now, right in here, there's a Phillips screw head. That screw head is holding on the entire top half of the LCD screen from being removed, believe it or not. So we are, let's turn it a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put the screwdriver in here. That's all it is, a little tiny screw. But on the screen, along the edges, all here you have to pry up so it's on there really tight I mean it takes some force don't pry here from the, from the corner on the top from the screen it's in the middle here along the edge all the way around and it is very important that you lift with the logo closest to you towards the back because there's ribbon cables back here you don't want to lift from the back towards you you'll rip the cables off so I've already done this it's already pretty loose so what I'm gonna do you'll see here I'm gonna open it from front to back like I was folding open the hood of a car there's the cables. Now what I'm going to do is there's enough slack. I'm going to lift it up and off and just kind of lean it up against the wall here. And there it is. There's the inside. So you only have three total screws. You have those two that held on the stand. And you have this tiny little Phillips screw. And that Phillips screw was right in here, holding the top on. And that's it. Once you remove those three screws and you go around the edges and pry, I think the prying was the hardest part. Just be very careful, but don't, don't be afraid to apply some pressure. And you'll hear it kind of pop open little by little and then uh, once you fold it open there's gonna be some resistance on the back side where the uh, ribbon cables are this area back here and that's because it's kind of there's there's little hooks on, on the back side here but uh, don't be afraid to lift up it'll, it'll come off it'll come loose and that's it then you'll have the inside of the 
desktop all in one and you'll be able to access the RAM, the hard drive, whatever you need to get to. So hopefully this helps somebody out there. And once again, this is Corey for Corey's Computer Repair. Thank you for watching.